Shock Lizzy, cause you got Shock Lizzy on. I, put up, I did like that. I was thought I was no, no bang bang. No bang bang. Okay. Ah. Any way you put it, these niggas ain't fucking with me. That bitch can't tell you nothing. Nah, but she let me hit. Ah. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma keep that. Niggas gon' hate. They make us dang with me. I'ma Pat is dope, but I'm here with Modi. What's up? One week away to what? Uh, Trilectro Music Festival. You got some dope ass posters. Yeah. Some good, some good workers out here. Work. Let's talk about the process that's going on right now behind us. Sure. Um, this is a process called wheat pasting. We do it to basically add to our marketing. Just you know, it's uh, we got some posters. Let me grab one. We got two actually. Can I get a bag? So this is the artwork that we got made um, by this lovely artist named Shay Love. She's really awesome. She basically wanted to convey like Abe Lincoln going to Trilectron, coming back and still like. So she made Abe Trill, right? She put made some... Abe Super Trill, put some J's on him. Uh -huh. um, and this is the lineup, you know, all the artists we have. So what we do is we go around the city. Um, on legal property, by the way, and we put these up as you can see in the back. You know, it's a process. We got, um, oh, I can show it to you on the camera. Some nasty shit that I'm not yeah. touching. No, nope. it's, it's pretty, uh, smelly, but it's not, you know, it comes right off your clothes when you wash them. And, uh, yeah, we're just doing that around the city. So we hit, where we hit? We hit U Street, Georgetown, Foggy Bottom, Foggy Bottom mm -hmm. and we have like seven other parts of the city to hit. All different parts, every quadrant. Maryland, I don't think we have any in Virginia, but that's what we do, just to add to our marketing, add to the flyering and everything like that. Most definitely. Let's talk how big Trilectro is. You're a pretty humble guy, and you, you don't never want to spotlight on yourself, but how did you go about creating this event? I know you probably got the Trill and Electro and the mixture, you know, so you can bring diversify the crowds, correct? For sure. But how, I mean, what, what made you just all of a sudden just go up and just say, I'm ready to do this? Because I know you're making, or it's a lot of money involved. Something that I can't really do. I just do cookouts and stuff and just right. have, so, you know. So this is how we, this is why we did it. Uh -huh. We basically saw the opportunity, like Quinn, my mm -hmm. partner, he mm -hmm. works in music. He okay. works at Sirius XM, uh -huh. he's a DJ. So mm -hmm. he knows music really well. Uh, when he was at Sirius, he was working on the electronic station. So all okay. the electro, music mm -hmm. he was listening to all day, the dubstep, the trap, the dance music, the disco, all of that he was listening to every day, mm -hmm. right? And uh, he kind of introduced the rest of the team to that sound. Okay. And we, we noticed that people like Diplo are doing songs with Usher, mm -hmm. and Nicki Minaj is doing dance tracks. You know, the mainstream is going towards this, so mm -hmm. we saw that happening, and we capitalized. We went to Coachella uh, in 2012, and came back and were like, man, DC doesn't have a festival. There's no space to do it. There's no like, there's no place in the city that it happens. So we wanted to make it happen, and and that happened like April 2012. We thought about the idea and executed it um, by August 12, you know, 2012. Okay. Struggles. <laughs> you stay in the house, right? Yeah, I stay in the so house. So how long do you stay in the house from when you like, yo, we gotta do this? Like, you, I mean, you're out now promoting, of course. This yeah, is your time to promote. But why are you staying in the house? What you, what you scared of? You, you just uh, want to be alive I'm, I'm until... I'm not scared. I think, I think at the end of the day, uh -huh. you know, my house or wherever I am, whether yeah. it be the house or whether it be, you know, Bus Boys and Poets on, uh, on, on UN14, mm -hmm. you know, I'm there. That's where, I, that's where I do, like, any work. So I'm not really in the house, but I'm working. Okay. Always going to meetings. I just came back from New York. Uh, okay. We had a press run in New York. We did two interviews out there. So... I'm I'm always working, okay. I think, and I come out when need be. I get a haircut, like I don't have a haircut right now, mm -hmm. but I get one when you know when the day of the show is. Right now, I'm behind the scenes working. So you're like Jay? Yes. When my album's done, okay, I get my haircut. Okay, <laughs> most done. So before um, the first show, show, what was the biggest fear? Uh, before last year's selector, the biggest fear was 
I mean, honestly, we just had an idea, and it's it's interesting when you try and bring an idea to life. Mm -hmm. Like literally, write about it and tell people about it, and, and make them envision it because it didn't, ha it, it's never happened before. So it made the most sense to just try to, you know, uh, just to, to put that out there, right? You put you put the idea out there and let people's minds work with it. But the fear I think we had was like, what if people don't respond to it? I mean, that was, and I, I don't even think that was a fear of ours, but I think that was something that we didn't think of. Now looking back, like, what if we had failed? What if people didn't respond like they did? What if 5,000 people didn't come out, you know? Um, honestly, we, we don't really think about the negative. We just think about the positive. But after it's said and done, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like, man, we took a big risk and we didn't even realize it because our eye was on the prize. So it wasn't really, there was no real fears. You know, um, it was more like we got to do it because I sacrificed so much of life. Like I could be working here or doing this, and instead I'm in my mom's house in the basement working, and I have a whole bunch of people that support that. You know what I'm trying to do, um, and we're, we're rocking with it. What's the biggest pressure creating the lineup? Because you know, now I know you like, I know your your email goes crazy for DMV artists. Mm -hmm. But not even all DMV artists, it's, it's millions of artists that probably wants to get on this type. What's the biggest yeah. pressure creating that? How many people on that lineup? It's 21 this year, 22 last year. What's the biggest pressure? Uh, I would say there's no, like it's not really pressure. I think sometimes you want to make sure that you represent this area well. You know, because I think now we have national recognition. Like people all over the nation and even we're getting tweets from people internationally mm -hmm. saying, hey, we're from Sweden, but we're coming down, we'll be in D.C. that weekend, we want to be there, you know? Most definitely. And we want to represent this area and music in the best light we can. Um, you know, no festival has submissions. No art, no, no big festival has people saying, hey, can I submit? We're not that. We pick what we like and we just make it happen. Last year we just, we had a dream lineup. You work with the agents and everything to try and make it happen. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of times, like there's conflicts with artists. Like last year, we had Diplo, mm -hmm. and then the day before we signed the contract, he pulled out to go overseas. You know what I mean? You, you upset for that? Uh, not really upset. You, you kind of live and you learn. I mean, I, I was mad, but you know, I think we had a we had a good replacement with Flash Adamas uh -huh. and Schoolboy oh, yeah. Q, Definitely. and the budget. You know, was a little, was a, we spent our money a little better. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, Flash Adamas, they they kind of uh, pioneered that trap music sound. Schoolboy Q is Kendrick's homeboy who's blowing up in his own right. So I mean, I think we did a good job picking those two artists. And this year we got people like Wale, we got a Moombaton artist, Not As Strong. Like a lot of artists, the thing about this lineup is a lot of people don't know all these acts, but they'll come back from it and be like, oh, you know, I think in about a year they'll, it'll hit and they'll see that, you know, we were kind of ahead of the curve. Definitely. And definitely. that's what we want to do. Definitely. So what about the sponsor? You got Jordan, Karma Loop, Live Mixtapes, Spectre, the uh, the alcohol. How you say it? Spectre. The Spectre. Spectre. And uh, we, I mean, we just, you know, a lot of these, like, uh, for example, Karma Loop, right? Yeah. Last year they gave us product, and they just wanted to see how we, you know, did. I used to intern there. My business partner Jason, um, he knows the the CEO, young dude, very hip to the culture, and, and you know, remember both of us from back in the day. So when we reached out, he was like, yeah, you know, he was like, let's work. Um, and I guess from there, this year, you know, he increased the money we got, increased increased everything. So you just gotta build these relationships. You and know, that's something you're good at. You, you call yourself Raj Strickland. Yeah, I like to, you know, throw oops around. And you definitely threw a lot of oops guard. to me and I dunked them, right? You dunked them. Yeah. Dunked them. Like Weber. Most definitely. Right? So what's next for Modi after Trillac Show is over? But you, you're getting in the music side, right? Boy, that's, that's, um, that's I mean, goal. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of things I want to do. Um, so right after, you know, right after Collectro, probably I'll chill for a week, and then we gotta go back and analyze what went right, what didn't go right. Um, we gotta have a powwow with everybody, make sure everybody that was included in, in the festival, all our partners, our sponsors, our interns, um, the staff, everybody was happy. Get their feedback, and then start working on 20, 2014 uh, because we want to get as much money as possible. We want to get as much uh, marketing time, marketing eyes on everything we're doing. Yeah. Wow, look at these guys working <laughs> super hard. Super hard. Yeah, but that's what's next, I think. Really, just I guess more projects, more music. Any clients that want, you know, want to work with me. Um, I want to work with big brands. I'm trying to have my own airline and my own shoe one day. You yeah. Know? And that's these are ideas that my my team has put in my head. And once you have those big ideas, like. Sky's the limit, really. Most stuff. So, we all know you're humble. 
But do you ever just lay back, drink, and just like, damn, I'm, I'm doing it like Jay and Puff and them were doing coming up. You know, me, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. You, it's like, I, you, I don't like this. I don't like that. Like, I, like I, I mean, for me personally, yeah. like to each their own. I yeah, like yeah, you yeah. because you are you. You yeah. know you and you work with you. Me, I'm a little different. And like, with my team, of course, I, we discuss everything we're working on. And we, we you know, sometimes when we feel good about something, we'll, we'll say, yo, this is good. I'm, I'm happy we did this. Whatever, whatever. Um, at the end of the day, like, you gotta self promote because if you have your own business or own movement or whatever, nobody can stamp you but you and the people that you tell about. So, I mean, you know, I, I do, I hear everybody compare us to this and that. And I just, you know, I gotta keep a, a open mind and keep focused. I don't wanna ever think, like, get get comfortable. Because at the end of the day, I'm almost 27 years old. And like, I'm pretty sure Diddy and them were great by like 22, you know? So, at, maybe, at the end of the not. day, I'm just trying to work hard and, and, and follow, the, follow that path. We'll see what happens, though. DCBC Pat is dope. So, Electro. August 17th. August 17th. Will you be there? I gotta be on the stage, man. I think I deserve to be at least. No, can I stage dive? Maybe. We can talk about it. No. We can talk don't... about it. Alright. Just make sure you talk to me. Okay. Alright? We'll be there. Doing our thing. I'm not taking. Just... Shout out to the legends, by the way. John, thank you. Shout out to Ike Vision behind the camera. We gone.